Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this look right here. This has been my go-to look um, since I had the baby and whenever I wear makeup, this is what I will do because it's very fast, easy. I can literally do it in five, 10 minutes tops and hopefully it's useful to you guys. If you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look or what products I use, stick around. All right guys, so if you guys thought I was basic before, I'm about to get even more basic on you guys. So um, I don't really have a lot of time to do my makeup and so really I want something that's going to give me coverage and it's going to be very lightweight and that'll stay on um, and that won't budge. So um, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done. I love this stuff. I would use it all summer last year. Um, but it's just a really great product um, and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the radiance activator by Estee Edit so this is just a really pretty like gold tone um, illuminator and I just like to mix it and I'm going to apply it with a brush you guys can totally skip out on the illuminator part if you're oily I'm more normal so I can get away with adding a little bit of a illuminator to my foundation. I'm just really digging the glowy skin. The brush I'm using is this Pro Core Diffuser um, brush by Sephora, it's number 95. Typically I use my Pro Fan brush, but for today, I just grabbed this one. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the one and done. Oh, and the shade I wear is medium, in case you guys are curious. So I like to take a sponge and then just lightly pounce that all over just to make sure that everything is blended out and as you guys know most brushes will leave streaks unless you're using like a very flat shade or, um, or a densely packed brush. So I'm just going to buff that into the skin and then pick up whatever's left over on my hands. And voila. So as you guys can see, it looks very natural. It doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on. I have some coverage. I would say this is medium coverage. You can still see my freckles. You can still see my little scars on my face. But it just looks very natural. My skin looks even. As you guys can see, I'm really not getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> um, I have dark circles. They're darker than normal. I've always had them, but they're definitely darker than normal. The concealer that I've been going to every single time I wear makeup is the NARS Soft Velvet, I'm sorry, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I wear the shade Ginger. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take that same sponge. This is a sponge by Sephora. And I just literally dip into the concealer and then I just apply it under my eyes. So we are going to do that. Make sure to hit that inner corner here because we naturally have a shadow there so it just always looks dark. And then you can always take it right wherever you want to add a little bit of extra coverage. And already your complexion looks brighter, it looks smooth and even, and it's quick. I can typically do this entire thing in about five to 10 minutes, but because I'm talking through it, of course, it's taking me a little bit longer, but it is a very fast routine. And when you have people coming over constantly, it's nice to kind of look a little bit put together. At least for me it is, it makes me feel like things are kind of normal. All right, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm gonna use a puff with it. And I'm just going to use this to set my makeup. All right, now what has been very helpful for me is to have something like this. This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette because it has a bronzer, it has highlighters, it has blush. And I literally have been using this every single time I, I do my makeup. So I'm gonna take the bronzer with a NARS brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth to my complexion. I'm 
All right, already we have just a very warm complexion. And then as you guys can tell that this also has just a little bit of a sheen. I wouldn't say it's um, shimmer. It's just definitely a little bit of sheen and it makes the skin just look glowy. And for me, that's been really important because with just being really tired, I feel like my skin looks dull sometimes. So it just gives me a little bit of life. I'm gonna go in with, what is this one called? Beach Nectar, which is this highlight here. And I'm going to put that just at the top of my cheekbone. Just looks really pretty and luminous. And I'm gonna use the blush that's in this palette. So you guys can use whatever you want, but again, for me, it's been very helpful to have everything in one palette. I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and blend all of this out so it doesn't look like it's just choppy and broken up. I want it to just kind of blend all together. So for my eyebrows, what I have been using is Wonder Brow, this guy here. I did a review on this a while ago and I wasn't a fan of it, but I feel like as it's gotten older, the formula has gotten better and easier to maneuver. So that's what I have on my brows today. And I'll be honest with you guys, every night I wash my face, but I don't, I make it a point to not touch the brows so that I wake up and I have eyebrows. And the reason for that is one, I told you guys, I can go without wearing makeup, but my brows are a must. And I feel like, again, people just randomly show up during the day and mama doesn't want to be caught without eyebrows. I mean, I look tired already. So having eyebrows does make a difference. So I have been using it, but I'm going to touch up a little bit with my Anastasia Dip Brow. So I'm gonna to touch that up, put some mascara on, and be back. All right guys, the last thing I like to do is I like to take a gloss or lipstick that's a little bit bright because it'll definitely make you look a little bit more put together, awake, alert, bright. And I'm going to be using Some Girls by Marc Jacobs. I've used a Scandinavia um, setting spray to set my makeup so this way, you no, know, it stays on. And this is the final look. Very easy, very fast. Um, you look really just bright, a little bit put together, but not over, you know, done. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome to Mi Familia. And leave me down below any suggestions or um, tutorials that you'd like to see or reviews. I'll talk to you guys soon.